It was once said, if you have ghosts, you have everything, and I guess I do, as today on the channel, from the latest Super 7 Ultimate Edition, we've got Papa Emeritus 2. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review, and today we've got something special, as we've got Papa Emeritus number 2 from Ghost and their Ultimate line. But remember, for all your Super 7 Ultimates and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10% on all in-stock items, and anything over $39 does ship free but today we take a look at the super seven papa emeritus number two of course we did unbox a uh, papa number one on the channel oh a little bit ago but of course this is the second go around the sun i do expect more ghost figures to come as well and they are very cool very toyetic as they always say and of course ghost i don't know if i want to call them a heavy metal band they really do give me the blue oyster cult vibes if you guys don't know your deep cut blue oyster cult outside of the hits man check that stuff out out. Uh, but Ghost is an interesting band. I saw one of their very first shows ever in the United States. I was a fan when they were just coming up. They had the single of Here Comes the Sun, if you remember that, if you're an old school Ghost fan. Of course, the George Harrison classic. And something that metal was really missing was the danger and the mystery in heavy metal. Nobody knew what this Ghost band was about. They didn't know who was behind the mask, who was behind the makeup, what was going on. Well, Many, many years have went by, and everybody kind of knows the whole story of Tobias Forge, of course, the leader of Ghost, and how that all goes. And I really do miss the time of mystery with Ghost. I really miss that. And at this point, I think I've seen Ghost live in concert well over 10 times. It's been a little bit. I think it's pre-COVID is the last time I saw them. Uh, but I still do enjoy Ghost music. I just don't enjoy it as much as I did when they were first up and coming. But still, a very cool band, a very cool idea, and uh, a very popular band in this day and age. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and then later on in this video we'll compare both versions of papa in this very video but of course we do get the super seven mailer box there i always do save these as you guys know get the ghost logo on the front nothing too extra special there so we're gonna throw that off to the side and we're gonna get to the old main event the beautiful super seven ultimate packaging here very very cool absolutely love this look how cool that looks the ghost logo Ghost on the back as well. And of course, like all the Super 7 Ultimate Editions, you just pull off that old slip case and you're off to the races. Going to put this gently off. See you later to the side. And there it is. Ghost in the package. Papa Emeritus number two right there. Very cathedral background. Very cathedral like a window is what it looks like. The iconic Ghost logo right there. Very, very cool. And this, I believe, is a two-in-one figure. I can't wait to dive in. We'll do that like we usually do. On the sides, nothing too fun. We got the ghost logo. Same thing on the other side. Ultimates at the very top. And then the back of the package, look at that. Got a big blurb right there. So let's check out this blurb. Let's see what it says about old Papa here. Papa Emeritus II was the most sinister of his Papa Papal. Papal? Papal brethren? The younger brother of Papa Emeritus I continued the work of the Dark Ministry across the world. Known for his calm demeanor and commanding stage performance, Papa Emeritus II also had a wild side, being often seen in Las Vegas' most sinful establishments when not on the road. Under his leadership, Ghost released Infestium. Infestium, I think I said that right, which charted in seven countries and won several awards. Despite these successes, the clergy's goals were greater and more vile than imagined. Oh my gosh. And uh, I've heard every Ghost album, of course. And like I said, I've seen Ghost many, many times in concert. Uh, an interesting band. Uh, a lot of people, I think, are turned off by the imagery. Uh, sometimes the music doesn't quite match the imagery, as we can see. And some stuff falls out right there. But there he is. Look at that. I love that packaging. That looks awesome with the green and black attack. Looking really good. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, thrash metal band Overkill, of course, with the green and black. But we're going to pull this aside here. We got two different plastic prisons going on. Let me cut these out. Always got to be gentle here. You never know what you're getting yourself into. I did lose the microphone out of the pack, so I'll have to put that back in. Come on. Come on. Work with me, plastic. Work with me and my razor blade. There it is. We're off to the races here. All right. Let's check out the old plastic prison. Now, we do get uh, all the extra accessories here. We got all the hands you could ever want. 
We get the mic stand, we get the uh, stick, and we get the extra head. This is pretty cool. This really makes me want to get two of these figures. Uh, I might have to wait for a deal because this really is a two-in-one figure. Very, very cool. I really like the looks of this, the way this is going. We do get the microphone there. Uh, and then we got, of course, Papa in the package here. So looking really, really good there. All right, that's the Plastic Prison. Let me get all this stuff out. We'll be back talking all things Papa Emeritus 2. All right, we got Pop out of the package. Let's break it down. Let's take a look at the accessories first here. And of course, we do get the mic stand. Now, a lot of reuse between these two figures from what I can see so far. But you know what? It makes sense. It's not like he's got a bulking phase where he's a big dude and he's a little dude. It's the same kind of body style. A lot of reuse, and that makes a lot of sense to me. But especially if you're building out the Papas throughout the years, which I really do assume Super 7 will be doing, uh, I think it makes a lot of sense. But we do get the mic stand once again. The mic is removable. And you you can uh, break this piece apart too if you want if you want him to just hold this part which of course uh, he does do from time to time or you can just have the microphone or you can have the straight up stand there so very very different uh, choose your own adventure on your microphones but I do like this and once again reuse city you could use this with your Marvel Legends you could use it with something else if you for whatever reason need a mic stand going on uh, you figure photographers could use that if you need to we do got this. I, I was going to call it the chalice, but that's not right. It's not a chalice. I forget what this thing is, but you guys know it usually smokes and he waves it around on stage. I forget the technical term, but I believe this is straight reuse from the last one. But once again, does make sense. Got to get the most out of your molds. That does look good. A really good accessory right here. And then we get his staff. What a beautiful staff this one is. The ghost logo at the very top. Got the silver points in between to break up the monotonous of the black color. Looks really good. I like it. So you can have him holding this, wielding this to everybody, blessing everybody, doing whatever he needs to do. And of course, hands are the thing. We got a lot of different hands. It looks like he's got, yeah, Papa's got two fists of fury. If somebody bum rushes the stage, he's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. He's got two fists on him. But we do have other hands as well. We do get two gripping hands, of course. Got to have the gripping hands. Uh, then we get the other gripping hand set. So one has a vertical hinge, one has horizontal hinges, uh, very by the numbers. And then the ones I've been using on the last pop, and I'll probably end up using at least one of them this time, is kind of the open hands here, the holding hands, because he's got to hold his stuff, things like that. I guess you got to have one to hold the microphone, possibly, but got all the hands you could possibly want. Uh, then we do get a top hat, and we will talk about this head here in a second, but let's break down the Papa figure, and we'll look at both heads at the same time. But we do get old Papa here once again, got his big old robe on. He's got kind of the Raven Tommy Dreamer expression. He's got the arms out like this. He's ready to go, but it really does look good. A nice quality robe on this one, uh, one that just kind of folds over almost like a sandwich on him, but it does look good. I love the green color, the green and black attack, but find it looks really good. He does got Velcro on this robe, so it does Velcro together to give you a little uh, better stance, I guess we would call it. Uh, but really nice. It got a little bit of the, oh, what is that? Like It's almost like an old lady type uh, dolly or doily or whatever they call it that uh, uh, they quilt those, like a quilter. You know, they make those things. It's got a little bit of that going on against the Ghost logo throughout, but it does look really, really good. I really do like that. But then you get down to the head on uh, Papa 2. This is one of my favorite makeup eras of Ghost. Uh, very, very deadly. Very crazy. I guess the first couple are probably my favorites. Maybe that's just because that was my height of my Ghost fandom. But he does got his big old Pope hat going on with the Ghost logo. Got the indention in the top here looking really good. The hat is not removable for those that are wondering. Uh, very skeleton looking. It almost looks like something out of a Misfits uh, cover or uh, something from Danzig. But it does look really, really good, of course. Uh, I just, I really like it. It's spooky. It's scary. It's I got a little religious overtones. It looks just really, really good. I guess we'll get this out of the way early. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? What do you know? He fits like a glove. Use discount code Kyle over at ringside. Uh, and you can save 10% on your stands. Make sure you get the Mattel stand for him. I do got the other Papa while I have them together. You can kind of put these guys together. Different robes going on, but I think it is maybe the same exact head. Just painted differently. Uh, definitely looks to be a very, very similar hat on there. Just a little bit differences. Maybe not, but it's close enough. But very similar robe styles, different colors, all that kind of stuff. But same go-to-market strategy. You got the two little strands coming back out of the hat, just like on the old one too. So a lot of similarities between these two, but also 
differences. And that works for me. I'm going to put this papa right over here on the, to the side, looking really good. Now I'm going to pop the head off this papa here. Pops off very easily. And this will help me dismantle the robe. I forgot the robe does have sleeves on it. So it sleeves around the arms for a little added security, a little added uh, hold, I guess we would call it, for this, which I, I do appreciate. Keeps it on there a little bit better. Uh, but it looks good. And let me get that all off to the races. But looking really good. I like that robe a whole lot. Uh, we pop this off, of course, pop this head off, and we're going to pop this head on. And now this is the two-in-one aspect of this figure. If I can pop the head on. Oh, my gosh, very tight. Got it on there, though. All right, let's move it around. Let's walk through the articulation really, really quick on this one. Head removable, head side to side, back and forth, up and down. Arms all the way around, of course, as we know. Single jointed elbows, side to side at the elbow as well. Hands removable, back and forth, side to side. You get waist articulation. He can do those big old ghost splits that he does on stage, you know, when he's crooning in this outfit. You do get the knee bend. You get the ankles back and forth, up and down. So your usual Super 7 articulation, which works for me, and it works for this figure. And this figure looks great. He almost looks like Paul Ellering for you wrestling fans out there. Uh, but, of course, we know Papa. He does ditch this uh, the makeup and everything else and goes into the more crooner uh, kind of way, the more evil. You know, they talked about on the back of the box going to Vegas, things like that. Uh, when you get all the makeup off and stuff, it still is a mask. Uh, but just a little bit different. But very, very cool two-in-one aspect to this figure. To me, I need to get two of these. I might play a little long game, wait for a sale, maybe something like that, because I need to be able to display this version of Papa as well as Papa 2 in my collection, uh, the heavy metal metal collection of action figures. But very cool suit here going on, three-piece suit, black tie, I uh, got the vest over the top. He's got his black gloves like we're used to. A very weird face. This is a guy you'd see and say, oh, there's something up with this guy. Something up with this guy. Hat is removable, of course. Got the bald head going on. Glasses are not removable. Uh, they do look really good. I love how they fit and how they look on him. He just got an air of danger to him. He's got the pencil-thin mustache. Kind of like a young Bob Dylan or a really old Bob Dylan. Last time I saw Bob Dylan a couple years ago, pre-COVID once again, he had the old pencil-thin mustache. He was rocking pretty cool. But this is kind of the crooner version of Ghost where he's running around, dancing around, a little bit more mobile than uh, the Papa, of course. But man... This is very cool, and you know, this could blend into other collections. You could use this as a guy in a crowd, a guy in a street. You could do a lot with this because, yes, this is Ghost for those people that know Ghost, but this also looks like a different guy, and just absolutely genius here, the two-in-one aspect of this action figure. I absolutely do love it. I don't know which way I'm going to go to display it wise. Part of me says I already have this one here. I'll do this one. Part of me says I should have the two Papas together. I think there's no bones about it. I need a third version of this. Uh, it depends how big of a Ghost fan you are. If you're a really big Ghost fan, you might need three of these. If you're just uh, on the books, uh, just kind of a, a, a guy from afar that you like what they're doing, maybe you only need two. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe you just need one or maybe you need none. You guys can tell me in the comments down below. But he does look really good. And, of course, I do have a little comparison stake. Uh, the one I really love here, of course, King Diamond. We're really building out heavy metal, hard rock people in the ultimate form. I absolutely love this King Diamond. This is by far and away my favorite. This is something I've been wanting like since I was a teenager. So I absolutely love this King Diamond. We do know we got a merciful fake King Diamond coming very soon. Would not be shocked to see the old top hat King Diamond, a more modern day King Diamond, maybe uh, down the road from Super 7, fingers crossed. Gotta think we're gonna get every single Papa they will make from Ghost. That makes all the sense in the world. We know Lemmy's right around the corner. I just, I hope I live long enough to see Lemmy because the anticipation is absolutely killing me to get a Lemmy Ultimate. We do know there's most likely going to be some more Lemmy Ultimates. I would love to see the rest of the band. That's probably a stretch, but boy, would that be something for a longtime Motorhead fan like me. But I love what Super 7 is doing with these Ultimate Heavy Metal icons. Give me the Rob Halfords, man, Iron Maiden. Uh, the world is their oyster as far as Heavy Metal goes, but got to think with some of the properties they have right now, we could possibly see a Rob Halford. I think that would be a really cool one. A lot of different looks for that as well. Uh, just really, really cool stuff if you're a metal head that also loves action figures. Super 7 is getting it done for us. Uh, I'm here for all of it. Bring them on. I'll buy every single one. You guys know that. But Papa Emeritus number two, uh, very good. Uh, they improved on the first one, a little bit of a two-in-one action, which is always wanted. Great business decision, so you can really make people buy two of these if you're a hardcore Ghost fan. Really, you could buy three of these if you're a really hardcore Ghost fan. You get one of each version and then one on card. 
Man, oh man, what a time to be alive. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? What are your thoughts on Ghost? Has the shine worn down a little bit for you on Ghost? Were you an OG Ghost fan back there for uh, for me, the first American tour they ever did with, uh, what was it, Mastodon? And gosh, who, who else was in there? It was another band I really don't like. I'll have to think about it. I'll, I'll throw the picture up of the band once I think about it. But it's, it's a band that basically put me to sleep, and I'm just not a fan of them. I know people say their older stuff was better. I didn't like any of it, but that's the way it goes. But I was there to see Ghost. I was there to see Mastodon for me. Uh, but let me know your thoughts and your history with Ghost in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell because we got videos every single day and then some. You don't want to miss any of those. Of course, check out the Patreon for early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over there at ProWrestlingTees.com. Pick yourself up a t-shirt. And don't forget to follow along on social media, SirPaul64. It's so where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Papa Emeritus number two, I'm Kyle. And I'll see you guys all real soon.